On the night of 8th of September, at the Ashoda Hospital of Sikandabad, we did the first lung transplantation in Andhra Pradesh. And uh, this took us the medicine to a higher heights in our state. Only in two more institutes in our country, single lung transplants were done successfully before. And when we have two lungs, unless both of them work, we will not be able to get enough oxygen to do our daily activities. For this 34-year lady who came from Pune, Maharashtra, both lungs got damaged by a condition called pulmonary fibrosis. Because of this, lungs became stiff and oxygen was not going through the lungs from atmosphere into the blood. She became breathless. She could not walk even two steps. She couldn't get down from the bed, go to the toilet or go for lunch or dinner. She's totally bedridden. At this stage, she was on oxygen and she had only a few more weeks to survive. She went around a lot of hospitals in the last two years in Maharashtra, including Bombay, and they could not do anything. They said lung transplantation is the only option and it is not available in India. Fortunately, a doctor in a Bombay hospital suggested to her that please go to Dr. Gokhale at Ashoda Hospital. He has done a lot of heart transplants before and they are looking at lung transplants. They came with a lot of hope about two months back here. When we investigated, we found that both lungs are damaged and there is no other option other than lung transplantation for her. And this being a first time, we are also not very sure how things will go. At that time, we we, consent, we took the video consent of the patient attendant to explain the high risk involved and we also took the opinion of top transplant center in America at Debeke Heart Institute. They do two to three lung transplants every week. And they do about 150 per year. I went there for the last seven years. I visited these centers three to four times to update ourselves. And at the end of seven years, we got this opportunity. And the people there said, Dr. Gokhale, there is no other option for this lady. You have to do a single lung transplant. And we kept her waiting here for one and a half months. Fortunately, on the eighth night, we had a donor, brain dead donor available at Kim's Hospital, another corporate hospital, Hyderabad. And the organization, that organization as the attendants of that uh, brain dead person and Mohan Foundation, they all made sure that the, they will donate the organs of this brain dead lady to save six to eight people. And that blood group fortunately matched with this lady. And we brought the lungs from that lady and we replaced the right lung of this lady that night with a new lung. And it took almost 14 hours of hectic work by almost 60 people standing on their toes, trying to create the history, trying to create a life. And we literally forgot to breathe at the end of that 14 hours when the, the new lungs started working. That is the time we took a deep breath and thanking God for everything. And after that, the patient is recovering well. Now she has been taken off ventilator. She is breathing by herself, walking around, and she has done, shown a lot of improvement. And she will take another two to three weeks before that lung becomes fully working condition. And after that, she needs to stay for another two, three months in the city. Then we plan to send her back to her Pona to lead her life. See, there are many conditions that cause damage to the lungs. You see, every time we breathe, smoking, atmospheric pollution, viral infections, conditions called sarcoidosis, and rarely viral infections. Sometimes our body, in a condition called autoimmune disorder, starts thinking that our organs are not our own. It starts fighting with our own organs. It's called autoimmune diseases. Because of so many conditions, and many conditions unknown to us, the lungs can get damaged. When they get damaged, very badly, drugs do not work, and the only option is this lung transplant. You see, first lung transplant was done in, uh, in the world in 1963 in America. Today, about 2,000 transplants are being done all over the world. But in India, this is the time now, it's slowly picking up, and with the support of Ashoda Hospital, with its excellent infrastructure, and the, our good pulmonology team, my surgical team, we hope to do some more transplants, save a few more lives with this opportunity.